a very bad storm is going to be coming to the United States today, and this particular storm is going to cause some serious problems, including the threat of a potential for a derecho. That is something that we do not see very often. It only happens usually a couple of times in a given year. This is going to produce the threat for widespread damaging winds upwards of 75 to 100 miles per hour across areas like Kansas, Oklahoma, and Nebraska. And then once we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and even into Thursday, our focus is going to shift more towards the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, even back into the Southern Plains will start to have some severe weather as we go later into the week. So over the next five days, we are going to have multiple big severe weather events, and we are going to break down all of those for you in today's forecast. So let's hop right into what today looks like in terms of severe weather, and we'll begin with that moderate risk for severe weather that the Storm Prediction Center has issued. This is something that you do not see very often. I know we've seen already probably about three or four different moderate risks this year, but this is not something that you really see that often or that frequently, but during the severe weather season like April and May, we do see threats like this pop up a lot more often than not, but this is where the greatest risk for severe weather is going to be today. It's going to be right through central and southern Kansas and back into areas near Salina, and also there's an enhanced risk that's just outside of that that does also pop into northwest parts of Oklahoma. So this is where the greatest concern is going to be today for significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and perhaps even a couple of tornadoes. We'll also have a threat as far north as North Dakota, and even back into southern parts of Oklahoma, we could see maybe an isolated severe storm that produces a threat for either damaging winds, hail, or maybe an isolated tornado. There's also a slight risk back over near the Kansas City area, and we also have a threat back down in Florida, which will be mostly robust supercells that'll try to develop later today, and those could perhaps produce a few isolated hail or wind events and maybe a brief tornado. Now, overall, the wind concern is definitely the biggest threat, and that is why I'm talking about the potential for a derecho here today. A derecho is essentially just an extensive area of widespread damaging winds that occur anywhere from like west to east over a elongated area, approximately 250 miles long, so a long tracked area of wind, and it also has to be about a line or a cluster that's approximately 60 miles or larger in terms of south to north. So that's what we'll be watching for today. In terms of that threat across Kansas, notice there's a hatched area, and that is where the potential for damaging winds upwards of 75 to 100 miles per hour will be a possibility today. So make sure, if you are in Kansas today, that you are taking this very seriously. Derechos in past history have been very dangerous. We actually just had a derecho down in Houston the other day, which was probably not, it's not going to be at least the same magnitude as what we just saw. I think it actually could be bigger than what we saw in Houston, but obviously it is going to be a bit more rural in nature. The hail threat overall is definitely significant across Kansas and even back into Oklahoma. We could see some hail storms in this particular area produce hail as large as the size of baseballs, so that'll be a problem. Make sure that you are protecting your vehicle. The tornado risk as well, it's a little bit lower than you would usually see for a moderate risk, but that's really not the main concern for today. Even with that said, we are going to have a few storms that'll produce tornadoes. I would not rule out a strong tornado or two in this environment, purely due to how strong the winds will be. The velocities could be cranking, and we could definitely get a tornado that's strong, but I don't think we'll see anything that's really that long tracked if we do get a strong tornado. Low tornado risk right along the southeast side of Florida as well, kind of between Miami and approximately the Cape Canaveral area. So if you're in those areas, make sure that you're also staying weather aware. So the timing for today, we're going to begin with this morning. Things stay quiet. This afternoon, things really ramp up. By six o'clock, we'll begin that damaging wind threat. And as those updrafts become a lot stronger and these storms mature, we are going to eventually see the threat for some significant damaging winds by 6.30 to about 7.30 tonight. And that'll really ramp up as we go later into the evening with widespread damaging winds being a possibility from northern Kansas back even into Oklahoma. And then by the time we get closer to 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, those storms move eastbound. It should be a relatively short-lived threat. I think tonight's live stream, which by the way, will be live most likely tonight. I am traveling back from South Carolina, so I'm not sure how that'll all pan out yet, but I should be able to go live tonight. Live stream probably from about 6 until about 11. Uh, overall, the threat should be about 5 hours long or so with numerous damaging winds and large hail and also the threat for tornadoes across a very large area here of Kansas. So make sure if you are new to the channel to subscribe down below as we'll be going live tonight and make sure to click the bell icon down below so you're notified when we do go live. Here's the wind threat, by the way. I know the storms may have not looked super impressive on the future radar, but notice how the winds on the HRRR model pop up tonight right around about six o'clock. Look at these areas of yellow and even kind of a brownish
brownish tinge there on the future radar that is indicating winds exceeding 75 miles per hour and that's going to really increase as we go into areas like central kansas around seven by eight o'clock that'll continue near hutchinson with winds likely over 80 miles per hour with some of these storms by nine to ten the threat should definitely kind of die down just a little bit and by midnight or one in the morning that severe weather threat should definitely almost be done with when it comes to the significant wind threat for tonight so that's some good news there here's a more widespread future radar by the way i kind of want to show you this to give you more of a, of a perspective on the oklahoma storms we'll at least have one or two storms that fire up here in northwest oklahoma and anything that can remain discreet will have an elevated hail and tornado risk so make sure you're staying weather aware especially in northwestern oklahoma capping will likely be an issue here anywhere near oklahoma city or in southwest oklahoma but if any storms do develop all hazards will be possible so stay weather aware there now as we go into tomorrow things begin to at least simmer down just a little bit but that's only temporary we have a slight risk across parts of the central plains and a marginal threat from michigan back into colorado we'll also probably be live tomorrow since this does include the midwest and there could also be a few tornadoes this is the wind concern right now not super concerning but that's the most elevated threat in addition to the hail threat they are the same exact areas the tornado risk overall it's on the low side but it's not zero we will at least have a couple of storms that produce at least an isolated tornado now let's go into the future radar beginning with tomorrow morning overall storms gonna remain relatively isolated just some passing showers and storms but they really blow up as we get closer to around six to seven o'clock with some big hail storms across parts of nebraska plenty of convection out there overall this threat is going to be ongoing for at least a few hours so this should go anywhere from about six or seven all the way up a little bit past midnight and that'll continue right there in southern nebraska even northern kansas could get some of that storm activity but overall again nothing super significant other than just hail wind and again maybe a couple of tornadoes and then by the time we go into monday afternoon and evening in the midwest robust showers and storms will be ongoing they should remain relatively clustered so the tornado risk should stay low it's definitely not zero any storms that produce tornadoes will likely just be a brief and weak sort of tornado risk but we might go live tomorrow so again just make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest on tomorrow then as we go into Tuesday, which is tossing trampolines on Tacos Tuesday, we do have a very large area that we're watching for, and we very easily could see a severe weather outbreak. This includes anywhere from the Midwest back into the Central and Southern Plains. We do have an enhanced risk for severe weather as well, which is where that greatest threat is going to be for hail, wind, and even a few tornadoes, with a couple of strong tornadoes being a possibility. So make sure that you're staying weather aware for sure on Tuesday, as there will be some significant storms. And while have a full breakdown on timing and everything that you need to know in our next forecast so make sure again that you're subscribed to the channel once we go into wednesday which is wacky when weather wednesday we do have a very narrow corridor for severe weather but it's a very long area anywhere from central texas and the dallas fort worth area right back into the detroit michigan area and as well as into ohio where we are going to have a threat for significant damaging winds large hail and again a few tornadoes right now this does not look like a tornado outbreak by any means but we will at least have a chance again for a few tornadoes tornadoes so make sure that you're staying weather aware there and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay tuned with the latest updates once we go into thursday which is tossing trampolines on tall trees thursday we have another slight risk back in the southern plains where we'll be watching for large hail damaging winds and again maybe a couple or even a few tornadoes being a possibility there so make sure you're staying weather aware in the southern plains i also want to show you an early preview to tuesday wednesday and as well as thursday this is what it looks like on tuesday we have a strengthening low pressure system moving over the center Central Plains. Severe weather will fire up right in front of that area of anywhere from approximately Iowa back into Kansas and Oklahoma. This will be the main corridor with initially supercells and eventually a linear area of storms producing the threat of damaging winds as that approaches areas like Chicago and back even into southeastern Missouri into the late evening and into the overnight hours Wednesday. By the time we go into Wednesday, storms really ramp up again anywhere from Ohio and Michigan back into areas like Texas where severe weather will be a possibility. Main concern, hail, wind, and again a few tornadoes and then by thursday another low pressure system will likely fire off more storms right there in the southern plains with more damaging winds hail and again tornadoes being a possibility i know it's gonna be basically every day and then by friday another low pressure system will move in more severe weather probably right there in the midwest west of chicago with again damaging winds large hail and tornadoes by saturday we might even have more severe weather this remains more uncertain but maybe anywhere from the midwest back into texas with again damaging winds hail 
and maybe a couple of tornadoes. And then by Sunday, we will have another shot, probably for severe weather somewhere here in possibly like the Central Plains or even the Southern Plains. So again, make sure that you're staying tuned to the channel. We'll keep you posted with the latest as we get closer to all of the severe weather madness that we're going to have here for the last week of May.